Hello, this is Dutchman420. Today I want to talk about past. Again. These little motherfuckers. They're sneaky little bastards. So when you look at a plant like this from a distance, you might think that it has a nutrient deficiency. But if you really look at your plants closely, which you really should do sort of on a daily basis, just kind of hone in on here and look. You see them spots. See them little teeny white spots? Well, left unchecked. They start to turn looking like this. And then if you leave them longer, they go like this. And what it is, if you look at a distance, you'll think it's a nutrient deficiency, but really what it is, is if you flip the leaf over on the other side here, there's some little motherfucking pests crawling around. And what they do is when they bite the leaf, it puts a little teeny white dot on it, so you end up with shit that looks like this. See how many of them little teeny white dots? They just add up over time. Or they start out like this. So what I did is, I, there's a good example right there on the end. Look at all those fucking bites. So what I did is, I went ahead and uh, used some Azimax like I made in my other video. But the Azimax basically just coats them and then down the line they stop eating and they stop reproducing and shit like that. So uh, what I did is I looked online and some smart person decided to add a little bit of 91% isopropyl alcohol into the Azimax mix with the water. So what I did is I mixed up my little 2 liter jug, the pump sprayer that's in my other video, and uh, took the bottle of isopropyl and just took the cap of it and flipped it over and filled the cap up with just a little bit of isopropyl and dumped it in the 2 liters of water and uh, Azimax and added a little more Azimax in there too and fucking shook the fuck out of it and sprayed them again and I looked and every motherfucking spider mite that I saw was all dried up and dead so the shit worked so footnote to the Azimax video add a little bit of alcohol in there and it will add an instant kill option to the mixture so basically, if it touches them, it kills them. I knew there'd be a good use for alcohol besides drinking it, because I hate this shit. I love pop, but I hate alcohol. And it did exactly what it usually does, is kill and destroy whatever it gets in contact with. Anyway, that's all for today. That's pests. So when you see these bitches at the first sign of seeing a little teeny white dot like that, Get some shit and spray it. Also important to not ha take anything from outside. Bring it into your garden. Don't take your plants outside and sit them outside in the sun and then bring them back in. And uh, you're going to end up with pests again. So uh, everything must be completely sterile. One spider mite that lays eggs can infest your entire crop. And if you think about it, there's no predators in there. It's the perfect environment for the bugs to thrive. But anyway, I just wanted to let everybody know to add a little bit of isopropyl. I thought it would kill the plant, honestly. But I sprayed it on there and checked one of them. And it dries right up and kills every single fucking spider mite. Or whatever pest you may have. So that's all for today. That is... Pests and signs of pests with Dutchman 420. There's that music again. Till next time, keep on smoking and growing.